of the short-term recommendations uh, that were given or will be rolled out in advance of the uh, year-end uh, report, and I really appreciate the, uh, the sense of urgency that has continuously been expressed uh, throughout this meeting. Uh, let me let me just address a couple of the the, uh, the uh, recommendations that were made regarding the one on integration service integration. I want to uh, ask Deputy Mayor Otero uh, if she will bring together the relevant groups uh, to talk about between now and our next coming together uh, the way in which we fast track uh, services for people who are. Uh, infected with and affected by uh, HIV and uh, AIDS, uh, recognizing the multiple problems that are associated uh, with that. Uh, and I ask you to come back, Deputy Mayor, in 45 days uh, with a report uh, on that. Um, secondly, um, I think everybody knows as the mayor, I'm charged with enforcing the letter of the law. And uh, DC does have a, a law that requires insurance companies to pay for HIV testing. Uh, in emergency rooms. And uh, I'm going to ask our, doc, our uh, Dr. Actor and Dr. Pappas to come together uh, with uh, Wayne Turnage in healthcare finance and Bill White at the Department of Insurance, Securities, and Banking uh, to talk about uh, how we do a better job of enforcing that law and also in 45 days uh, to have a report uh, back to me on that. And then thirdly, um, Responding to the issue around promoting, better promoting HIV testing in the private sector, I want to ask Dr. Acker if he will communicate with all the physicians uh, in the uh, city, licensed in the District of Columbia, with respect to the national and DC guidelines uh, for HIV testing. And I'm sure we can work with the, uh, the medical association, with the hospital association, and others uh, to be able to accomplish that in fairly short order. And so we stay consistent with our timelines. I'd ask you to do that in 45 days uh, as well. Uh, just a couple of other things. Um, we, uh, uh, one of the things I'd like to focus on, and I'm sure it's on the minds of uh, many people, uh, is the issue of how we develop a world-class uh, medical care center for excellence uh, in HIV. It just seems like that's the logical next step. You know, moving into this conference next year and into the aftermath, what a wonderful focal point uh, that would be for the efforts of this commission and a tangible, concrete product that we can all look upon uh, and say this was, has emanated from the work of this group and will be a lasting uh, effort until we have uh, eliminated uh, the virus and eliminated the, uh, the, uh, the issues associated with AIDS uh, around that. Um, so I'm going to ask Dr. Actor and Dr. Pappas uh, to work on that and come back in three months uh, and report to the commission uh, on how we might be able to do that. And I'd really like to fast track that also so that by the time we get to the middle of July of 2012, we have a, a plan, a strategy mapped out as to how we're going to make that happen. Uh, that would put us around the end of the year for uh, knowing that, right? So we know we've got a, a World AIDS Day coming up, and it would be wonderful if we could have some of these things settled to use that as an opportunity to roll out you know, where we're going with some of these things. Uh, the final thing is, some of you may know that uh, I conduct a monthly youth forum. Uh, I started it back in the spring around the budget, and now I've done a couple, uh, a couple more uh, with kids. Uh, and it's an opportunity for kids to talk about anything they wish, but we each, each month we have a theme uh, that we focus on. And uh, the, the next month, and it's the uh, third Saturday of the month, the theme will, will, will be around HIV. And uh, it's obviously a subject our kids ought to know more about, to know the dangers of, to recognize that it's not a problem that has been solved, that they still are vulnerable uh, to the uh, transmission of the virus. And I'd really like to invite the commissioners uh, to come out uh, the only rule is that those who talk must be 21 or under, which eliminates everybody sitting there in this table, right? Except <laughs> one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. One commissioner. We got, we got one commissioner. <laughs> um, but in any event, um, we'll get the information out to you as to where it's going to be held, uh, the time. It's usually 10.30 to 
you know, 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday when it's conducted. But it also would be an opportunity because there will be questions that will be raised by young people and I'd really like to be able to turn to the experts around this table to address some of those questions. And frankly, I hope some of the questions will be around resources for addressing the problem here in the city and who are some of the adults that are working uh, on this issue. So again, let me thank you all for your continuing efforts. Uh, I think you've done a lot of great work, quite evident from the reports that were uh, presented here today, the recommendations that were adopted. And let's stay on the fast track so we can feel like we actually uh, you know, are accomplishing things with this commission. Thank you all very much.